To win races in Formula One, it takes more than just a fast car. The physical fitness of the drivers plays a much larger role today than it has in the past. In recent years, F1 teams have become increasingly aware of the importance of keeping drivers in top physical and mental condition. Fitness and youth combine in a perfect formula to make Lewis Hamilton the most successful rookie driver ever to start a season. You always have to make a, a slight step in your, in your training, make training harder or training longer. And so going from Formula 3 to GB2 was quite a big step. And then making the, the step to Formula 1, you know, it's a big progression. And, and I had to have a personal trainer and physio to, to help me. Helping Hamilton to stay in good shape during a recent gym session at McLaren's headquarters in the UK was Australian fitness trainer Adam Contanzo. I provide massage with him, I make sure he's feeling well, that he hasn't got any aches and pains. With the demands of a Formula One car design requiring small, framed, lightweight drivers to actually fit in the cockpit. Improving a Formula One driver's muscular mass and endurance implies a very specific bodybuilding regime. It is then important to develop strength without increasing volume and weight too much. Some specific muscle groups need to be developed. One of the most important being the driver's neck. Um, the race in Barcelona is one of the toughest also for, for the neck of drivers because there's a lot of fast corners and, uh, and so the g-forces are very high and the head is the only thing in the car that's not fixed so in the corner you have to hold it against the force all the time and after 70 laps or something in the end it can really be uh, quite tough. The lateral g-forces exerted on a driver can be more than 5g which means about 25 kilograms of force on the neck during high-speed cornering. A major proportion of Lewis Hamilton's weight training regime concentrates on the upper body. Istanbul is, the, I think, one of the two circuits that is actually anti-clockwise. So it's quite challenging for, the, for all the drivers, especially with turn eight, which I think you're talking about. Um, turn eight, we're pulling around four to five Gs for, I think, it's around um, eight seconds. And if you're doing that every lap, it's very, very tough on the, on the left-hand side of the, the driver's neck. Um, mainly because all the, uh, the other circuits were using mostly the right side of your body. Um, so you have to make sure you're, you're prepared well for this, for this race as, as well as down in Brazil. His neck strength, his lower back strength, his strength, strength around his pelvis, that has really developed. A Formula One car can break from 185 kilometers per hour to stand still in 3.5 seconds and in a distance of 80 meters. The force on a driver's body during deceleration is about four times the weight of gravity. You know, I think for a lot of drivers coming into Formula 1, they would naturally struggle going into the first couple of races and through the season you would gradually get better. While the pulse rate of a healthy young person is typically in the region of 60 beats per minute, during a Grand Prix, the pulse rate of a Formula 1 driver is around 160 beats per minute and can peak at over 200. To add to this level of stress, a driver's blood pressure can increase by 50% during the race. Hamilton's commitment to exercise brings praise from his trainer. He's a dream to work with, actually. He uh, doesn't question what I say. If I say we need to go for a 10-mile run and it's cold, it's raining, he doesn't blink, so we're straight into it. Hamilton's high level of fitness gives him confidence knowing that he can go the distance. Absolutely, very fit. Um, probably fitter than I've been all season and um, more relaxed than I've been all season. <laughs> it's definitely extremely encouraging when you go into a race knowing that you're fitter or, or probably the fittest driver there. It's, that's got to be the aim. It's definitely it puts your mind at ease and it gives you room to then just think out the whole weekend. Lewis Hamilton has proven that determination, skill and above all, physical fitness are the necessary ingredients for a Formula One champion.